the most talked about product you're saying it's witchcraft it's sorcery am i sure i'm doing this like, it is the very first leaving hair treatment i'm a little bit concerned isn't that bad for my hair about one of the ingredients wish me luck this may be the last time i experiment with my hair oh la gente what is up my people welcome to self-care sunday where we test out new hair care on camera today's product Ta-da! is the quite recently launched very highly requested k18 biomimetic hair science hair mask i dare say this has to be the most talked about product ever since Olaplex first launched. They got my attention. I'm intrigued to say the least. I mean, seriously, can you blame me? K18 claims to be the only patented bioactive peptide treatment clinically proven to repair hair and reverse damage from chemical services, thermal styling, and mechanical styling uh, but there's more it works in just four minutes and you don't need to rinse it off wow i don't know how i feel about such huge claims but i just want to jump right into it and see what it can do for my hair by the way i paid a small fortune for this product just for 150 mils or five fluid ounces that's a lot so this better work let's jump right into it i'm gonna shampoo my hair step one check i used my l'oreal silver shampoo my hair was starting to look a little bit too gold i actually thought it would be a good idea to do that right before this treatment as you can see my hair is not very wet it says here that it's really important to apply on clean thoroughly towel dried hair because k18 peptide which is their trademarked ingredient is not able to regenerate the bonds in presence of too much water inside the cortex it doesn't need to be soaking wet as you can see mine isn't but it still needs to be pretty much down and skip conditioner it specifically says here that the silicones that are inside many of the conditioner formulations could prevent this uh, treatment from fully doing its job from fully penetrating the hair fiber i'm not gonna lie i'm a little bit concerned about one of the ingredients i just red here and it's the second ingredient so very high concentrations i don't know i guess we will look deeper into that later on i am just gonna go ahead and apply this and uh, wish me luck i love this little chart that i found at the k18here.com site i think i'm gonna insert it here somewhere so that you guys can take a look as well so for me it's long hair meat back length or more um, which is my case and i would say i'm somewhere in between medium hair and thick and coarse so somewhere between three and four pumps should be enough for my hair i just love how specific they are about this like other brands should really step up one pump equals one milliliter or one dime size so I have already split my hair in two sections and I think I'm gonna do kind of one pump, one pump, and then on the top layer, one pump and one pump for a total of four pumps. It says here it's really important to do this after professional services. Um, so coloring, bleaching, all those things. Proud of myself that I just did my purple shampoo. So it should help prevent damage from that it is sealed here always check that the product is always sealed okay that is one pump okay from roots to ends section by section to another. I'm really happy about how specific they are with instructions. I think maybe professional products tend to not be very specific because they tend to train their people, but let's face it, eventually as consumers also get a hold of those products and then it's always good to have some type of info and train ourselves. Because of my hair length, 
it's going to take more than four pumps, which I think is fine. I'm gonna do the back at the end, and I'm gonna apply an entire pump just there because it's where I get breakage from bleach and all those things. The bangs I have so much like um, damage from heat tools because now that I have them, of course, I need to keep them styled. I use the hair dryer every day on my bangs, so let's not forget about those ends. So the fragrance is subtle, but it's a little bit chemical. It doesn't smell like perfume. Subtle, so it's not unpleasant. Let's do the back. So if you like highly scented hair treatments, uh, it's not it. All I want from this hair mask is to work. And for that one ingredient that I mentioned that I'm concerned about, to not harm my hair. I think we're good. So here comes the very interesting part. This product is a leaving hair mask and I have to say I'm pretty sure it is the very first leaving hair treatment I've ever tried. I've tried a leaving conditioner but never a leaving hair mask. There's always a first. It says in the instructions not to do anything at all to your hair for four minutes, which is the product's exposure time. Just let it do its magic. There has to be a Guinness record for a treatment that works in only four minutes. I'm trying to think of any other hair mask that does the job in such a short amount of time. Although, we don't really know yet. It may not do the job and this may be the last time I experiment with my hair. Here's the thing, here's the one thing I'm very concerned about. The very first ingredient in here is no surprise, it's water. Most hair treatments have water as their first ingredient. My concern is the second one, which is alcohol. Denet, and denaturalized alcohol. If you do a very quick Google search, you will be shocked at the amount of bad things published about this ingredient. So when I read it, I was like, oh my God, am I sure I'm doing this? Like, I don't know, you know? So before we jump into what I learned about alcohol denet, there's a few other ingredients that kind of ring a bell. There's a couple of alcohols um, that are actually the hydrating conditioning type of alcohols, which is fine and it, they're present in so many hair masks. There's hydrolyzed wheat protein and hydrolyzed wheat starch. Generally speaking, hydrolyzed proteins are able to penetrate deeper into the hair fiber, so those are like. There's also citric acid, which I found in so many hair masks that I love. I think you must remember me mentioning this before. My problem, honestly, was and still is um, the alcohol denet. So, I went through their site to see what they have to say about using it in here because I don't know about you but I'm open to learning new things and I'm sure that ingredients also depend on how they interact with the rest of the ingredients in the formulation. Okay, so those were the four minutes. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person concerned about the alcohol content in here. Listen to this. I noticed there's alcohol in the formula. Isn't that bad for my hair? Yeah, isn't it? Here's what they have to say. Listen to this bit because it's really interesting and then we'll see in the final result if it's actually true. Maybe not. Denatured alcohol is used in K18 formulas because it opens up keratin's porous structure and helps deliver the peptide to the hair's damaged sites. That is something I didn't know. So assuming it's true, it makes sense, right? I must confess I'm a little bit more relaxed now that I've read this. I want to trust the brand. We'll see if um, that's the right thing to do. Maybe not. It is sulfate-free, paraben-free, silicone-free, phthalate-free, doesn't contain formal, which is important, and it is 
the good things, right? Next step is to style your hair. If you usually let your hair air dry, no styling products, no nothing, you're good to go. Just go about your day, do your thing. I have to say that as this is air drying, it's actually air drying really nicely for my hair type, which is very crazy and frizzy and wavy. But I'm not gonna let it like fully air dry today. I wanna style my hair. And maybe next time, if you want, we can just let it fully air dry and I say next time because ideally we need to use this like four or six times to see the full benefits of this so for those of us that do like to style the hair you can do that as usual provided you have allowed those four minutes of exclusivity to the product uh, which we just did they do recommend the use of a heat protectant. Please do use a heat protectant if you're gonna blow dry. You guys know I've been using quite a bit the Kerastase Discipline Fluidissime. Just for the purpose of this video, I am not going to use a heat protectant. Please don't do that. I'm gonna do that just for the purpose of this video. So I normally would use a heat protectant such as this one, but this is really transformative for my hair. So I'm not gonna do that today. This one will smooth out my hair. We'll do a bunch of things and I just want to judge the K18 product on its own. Again, we're gonna do follow-up videos on this. So in those videos we can go deeper and try different things depending on what you guys want and what you request in the comment section. So, oh, I forgot to mention that it doesn't feel like it particularly helped detangle the hair. I had to go in with the tangle teaser and I did not film that. My camera stopped recording that. Um, so I'm a little bit concerned on how this is going to look once styled, if it's going to look conditioned enough. Clearly the treatment is targeting damage and treatments that target damage usually are not particularly deep conditioning. You need kind of an extra thing for that. So I've been thinking about the good times. I've been sleeping through the long night. I've been shining in the sunlight. I've been thinking how I'm alright. There's a reason for my feelings. Okay. Look at that. It feels good. It's always very hard for me to show you guys the back. I know that looks very weird looks nice right also my hair is growing so long this has absorbed so nicely i don't think anyone could tell i have any product on let alone a hair mask it's crazy nice it's not the shiniest, but I'm gonna split the screen so that we can compare with the before and of course this is the after. It doesn't feel stiff or greasy. Even though I did not use any styling products or conditioner, it did not get tangled as I was blow drying, which is a huge thing for me because when that happens, you could potentially break the hair. If throughout this video you've been sensing like I have trust issues with this product, um, you're correct. I have been kind of expecting a sudden plot twist, something to go terribly wrong, and we still have time, we have tomorrow's checking. I could wake up and this could feel like straw, like very, very dehydrated due to the alcohol content. It's the first time I've ever tried a product by this company. It's a rather new company. Also, did you check their Instagram? I mean, the product claims and the reviews that they are highlighting on their Instagram Instagram, you're saying it's witchcraft, it's sorcery, it's magic, it's insane. Listen to this. If I could literally drink this, I would. Another girl says, I'm so obsessed I could bathe in it because I want K18 on every single microscopic hair in my body. Calling themselves the new Olplex or press is calling them that way. I don't know what will happen long term unless tomorrow is a really, really bad hair day for me. I can expect to use this six more times and see uh, how it goes for me. Based on this first experience, it's looking good. It's kind of promising. It's not the softest I've 
felt my hair but once again we're talking about a strengthening anti-damage type of treatment we used zero conditioner zero styling products keeping my fingers crossed i think it's that alcohol then in there i have like this huge prejudice against that ultimately what i always like to focus on is product performance so when i edit i am going to um add right here right now a short clip of tomorrow's check-in we'll see if i change my mind or maybe not who knows okay i just brushed my hair that's all i did and i haven't touched it or styled it since yesterday so 24 hours maybe even 26 hours uh, after application disregard the bangs they need to be styled but other than that still feels pretty flexible and tell that there's a hair mask that hasn't been rinsed off i am surprised that my ends are not looking like straw because that's what i thought the alcohol didn't content was going to do to my hair if it's going to dry my hair i don't know it just hasn't happened yet i cannot say that every single one of their claims is correct there's a chance they might uh, they may be onto something it looks it looks great but it will only be worth the money so <laughs> incredibly over the top expensive that it will only make sense to get this and repurchase it if the long-term results are actually repaired less damaged hair i would like to test it out followed by a deep conditioning hair mask of my preference and with styling product if i had to criticize something about these results would be the flyaways i do have quite a few so that is it for today guys i hope um that checking went well i have no idea because clearly i am pre-filming the outro i guess we're looking at a potential series or at least a couple more videos on this product to see the long-term effects um definitely the strongest points are it's very quick just four minutes you don't have to rinse it out which again very amazing and time saving it's definitely lightweight and it does look pretty good just applied i mean if you're new around here i hope you enjoyed this video and that you stick around by subscribing whether you liked this or not or whether I liked it or not I don't know all the products are linked in every single one of my video description boxes so it's a way of you supporting the channel if you are going to buy the product anyway at no extra cost to you whatsoever okay this was fun and a little bit scary to film i hope you guys found all the information you were looking for to make the right purchase a decision for you thank you so much for being here and i will catch up with you guys again on my next one do you want to follow click here